Today, we're going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound chromium-3 oxide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll write the formula from there. The first thing I see is chromium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to find where chromium is, and chromium is over here, right? It's represented by a CR. So that's the first thing I'm going to write down. Chromium is CR. But now, since chromium is in this little box here, those are transition metals, and transition metals have many different charges. Which one am I going to use in this case? Ah, that's why they give us the Roman numeral. The Roman numeral, remember, always tells us the charge of the metal. So in this case, this is a Roman numeral 3, so I'm just going to say it's a plus 3. I know that this is a plus and not a negative because all metals have positive charges. They want to lose electrons. The next thing I see is I have oxide. I see that it's an IDE ending. Chances are it's going to be a nonmetal. The nonmetal gets the IDE ending when naming. So I'm going to scan the, uh, the periodic table for something that starts with ox, right? And remember, oxygen, which is over here on the periodic table, it's right here, oxygen will turn into oxide when it's named. And oxygen is an O. Since it's in this group, it will have a negative 2 charge. That's the trend for that group. So I'm going to write O, and it's a negative 2. Now since I have both components, we do this little trick where we crisscross the charges to just say how many of each I have for, you know, the element. So in this case, this plus 3 crisscrosses down, telling me that I have 3 oxygens, and this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I have 2 chromiums. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives. We're just using these as your subscripts numbers and how many of each I need. So in that case, I have CR. I have two of them, right? Two chromiums. And then I have an oxygen, and I have three of those. So that's it. Chromium-3 oxide is just Cr2O3. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'm rooting for you guys on your future tests and quizzes. You guys have been awesome throughout this whole YouTube journey. Thank you so much for that. And I'll see you, I'll see you in future lessons. All right? I'll, I'll talk to you. All right? See you later. Bye-bye.